Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today from Monaco, where we're together at Data Cloud 2022. Joining me is Craig McKesson from T5. Can you tell us a little bit for our audience, those who may not know, can you tell us a little bit about T5 and what your core focus is? Sure thing. Um, as you said, my name is Craig McKesson. I'm Chief Customer Officer with T5 Data Centers. Um, we're a full lifecycle data center services provider, and so we're helping customers from the actual development and leasing of data centers through the uh, mission critical uh, build out of the, of, the, of the data halls all the way through the ongoing facility management. And really, you know, T5 is, is fundamentally about keeping our customers forever on. It's about being forever on, forever safe, forever performing, and then forever partnership with our, our, our customers. Yeah. And I understand sustainability is a core focus for you. Can you, can you talk about why that is? It is. Um, you know, it, it's, it's absolutely electric here in Monaco. I mean, everywhere you look, um, all the messaging is really focusing in on sustainability, which is so, so important. And, you know, one of the, the key reasons we're here is we're super excited to be part of the inaugural companies that have actually signed on to the uh, Infrastructure Masons um, Data Center Climate Accord. And so um, coming together as an industry across all facets of the industry from service providers to um, equipment vendors to financing companies um, all across the ecosystem, now, we've all committed to coming up with an open standard to really how do we measure and understand what the global climate impact and, and carbon impact is of what we do? So it's exciting to be a part of that. It's also exciting to see everybody really on board and committed to uh, ultimately creating you know, a greener data and um, you know, a better way of life. I, I mean, I agree with you. It, it is so present here at Data Cloud. Uh, and you know, last night, the, the um, I Mason's Climate Accord was officially launched right. right at the awards, and it was great to see uh, you know everyone participating, and so great to hear that you guys are a part of that. And and you know, as a data center facilities um, company, can you talk about you know how specifically what you have you know on your company side in place to support sustainability? So you know, it's interesting. So we not only you know develop and, and lease and operate buildings on behalf of our own um, company, but we also operate data centers on behalf of third parties. Everything from large scale, wholesale, enterprise to hyperscale campuses. And so really getting in and understanding how, um, and what matters most to our customers, um, how sustainability and greener data impact, uh, not only how they do business, but impact their customers is something that's truly important to us. And so we've made a real discernible effort to putting in the you know the processes and the platforms uh, to first measure it, uh, we partnered with a, a company called N Zero really to uh, create real time tracking of our carbon emissions across our portfolio, so that if we at least understand where the baseline is, we can then understand how our actions um, either impact you know po hopefully positively but sometimes negatively uh, what what the emissions profile is, and that way we can uh, you know we can tack and pivot uh, appropriately. And so tell us about, you know, from your perspective at, at T5, what, what should we watch for? Is there anything exciting coming down the pipe that, you know, what's, what's the, the next big thing that you want us to watch out for? Well, that's, I mean, it's a great question. And I think, um, you know, one of the underlying topics here is how can we as an industry get better? Um, you know, keeping with that sustainability theme, you know, from an actual data center infrastructure perspective, um, you know, there's only so much you can do in terms of the kit of parts that creates the data center. Uh, the ongoing facility operations last years, could be tens of years, 20 years uh, within a data center. So um, being able to operate more efficiently, to be able to um, utilize um, more of that infrastructure to uh, produce power input, right, and ultimately use less power as a result, use less water, um, all of those things, recycling programs, some of the simple things that you do on the operations side, um, of our data centers ultimately um, is what's going to move the needle and have that have that positive impact. So um, in terms of kind of that is those next big things, I think you're going to start seeing some um, a lot of these words, you know, turn into actual action. Yeah, yeah I love that. And I, I think that uh, there's a movement afoot. Yeah, <laughs> yes, a movement. there is. Uh, uh, so Craig, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been really, really great. It's nice to see you in person. Uh, it's nice to be a person. I mean, you can see, I mean, like I said, the, the buzz here is absolutely electric. Um, and, and people are just, you can tell, all thrilled to, to be together. 
and there's really no you know, substitute for kind of face-to-face -face contact and, and idea sharing. And so that's really um, what this conference is all about. And uh, I'm just happy to be here and, and thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.